Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of AQS Quilt Stars Trunk Shows. I am just delighted to be coming into your home from Quilt City, USA, to share another wonderful trunk show. And this time is with my friend, we have just recently become, I would like to say close, <laughs> Eleanor Burns. Eleanor, how are you today? I'm great, Liz. Thank you. Oh, well, well, we're in the studio in San Marcos, and there's four of us. My son, Orion, is on the camera. This is my friend, Teresa, who is going to help me show the quilts. And we have Eric over here. Oh, well, so it's we're so ready. glad to have a whole group of ready to go. <laughs> but I forgot to tell you, there's the two dogs, too. Oh, well, that's good to know. And maybe we'll get a sneak peek at one of those <laughs> as we go. Well, exactly. hey, before we get started, I first want to say thank you to our sponsor for this program, which is AccuQuilt. AccuQuilt makes a wonderful variety of cutting systems, including the AccuQuilt Go system, cutting mats. Um, they make the rotary cutters, just about anything you need to get a great cut as you're working on your quilt. Now make sure you stay tuned because about halfway through, we're going to tell you how you can enter to win a wonderful prize package from AccuQuilt, and we'll hear a word from them personally. But for now, Eleanor, I'm so excited to get started. Can you show us <laughs> what you have to show today? I can't wait to show you. Now, Liz, get prepared. You better get a pencil because we have over 50 quilts to show you. Do you believe that? I can't believe it, but it looks like everything is set up so beautifully. I just am so excited to see it all. And I will tell you with everyone, oh, this is my favorite one, but we've got a good show. So, they call me a stripper, Liz. Did you know that? <laughs> I did I know have that. Quite a reputation as a stripper. And <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to just start right out with strip quilts. You ready? I am so ready. Okay, this is very easy. Okay, one, two, three. This is Teresa, and we've got the show right here. So, I am starting with a very traditional four patch quilt easy comes from strips Teresa actually did this it's beautiful with the lines only little one inch pieces one inch cut from a strip and you can whip that one away and this one I did because I love my feed sacks did you know that I have all my aunt Edna's feed sacks and so this one is done with three inch strips like this and then this is even a feed sack around the outside edge and just little polka dots on the back so roll it in Teresa here <laughs> comes the go big for our strips oh you and have so, the go big AccuQuilt cutter how uh, perfect I have the go big so do you do you have an AccuQuilt cutter Liz I don't personally have one, but I have gotten to use the one at the office a few times, and it's just so easy to use. Okay, so wait, you're going to have one after this. So this is like a strip die, and to me, this was like the most amazing thing. So I wanted to start off with it, and what I have, oh, my favorite colors, I have three pieces of fabric, red, white, and blue, perfect. And this is the strip die under here. These are little two and a half inch strips, which believe it or not, AccuQuilt says this is their most favorite die, the most sold one. It's actually six layers all stacked up. And now, thank you. She's putting on the cover, the mat, and our button is turned on. We already turned it on. So you just get it started. And then you just stand and dance. You can do a little strip if you want like this. And the machine just <laughs> works through. Is this good? This is wonderful. So now there's actually three strips across on the die. I have six layers. Six times three is how many strips did we just cut? We've cut 18 strips. Oh my gosh. And there's none of those little dog dog legs in the middle. So I like to put my hand on my uh, mat and just spin it first so everything doesn't really fall apart. Okay, you take this. This is the edge. Trim that. And then you can see these are all perfect strips going down there. 
Got oh, it? Wow, they are absolutely so, perfect. They're perfect. They're perfect. And so then you just take these. I did a little preparation ahead of time. You just have your colors right sides together that you're going to use. You sew those with a perfect quarter of an inch like this, quarter of an inch strip, and press the seams toward the dark. Okay, so now yeah, this is magic. Okay, Teresa, if you'll take those pieces off and get it ready. So take and cut this in half. We're making four patches. And now you take the two strips, one, two, I need the die back. <laughs> okay, so take and put one on top of the other, right sides together. And you lock the seam like so. So I am an expert at this. Okay, and now to get our little four patches, we're going to sub cut. So you lay it like this, and you can just flop it over a couple of times now. Put the, put the mat back on and turn it around. Okay. And push it through. Ta-da! And suddenly we get all of these four patches. That's incredible. Just... That is life changing for me because I have to tell you, my <laughs> least favorite part about making a quilt is the cutting because my my little scissors always go a little bit wonky or my my rotary cutter goes off to the side. Oh. So how perfect to get those units. Yes, well, you're young, Liz. You just <laughs> wait. Wait till you can't move your shoulder. You have arthritis. Oh, my gosh. And so just slide it off again and look at this. It's okay. Just run it right through, and you've got your four patch. Got Absolutely it? perfect. Well, thank you so much for showing that. I'm so excited now to, to you, try out some more on it, and I'm excited for the people who are going to get the AccuQuilt prize package. <laughs> well, I had two strips. Okay, very, very easy. Two quilts with strips. And now my favorite one is the half square triangle. I am nuts about half square triangles. I can make them in any size. And this one is our circle of friends. This is little two and a half inch uh, half square triangles put into the circle of friends, all the bright colors. And don't you love the quilting? You oh know, Teresa goodness. and I, we quilt with our credit card. Actually, the quilt <laughs> in a day credit card. <laughs> so this one is circle of friends. And we're just going to take through so many things you can do with, with your half square triangles. This one is, let me see. Uh, oh, this is, uh, oh my God. Ocean waves. Ocean waves. Oh, thank you, Orion. Ocean waves. Ocean waves. And this one has a little kick in it. I put a little pinwheel right in here uh, so that you can see. But it's all beautiful batiks and such. Half square triangles. Let me see. We're getting bigger now. This one I just did recently and I love it. And the, all of the half square triangles are put on diagonal. And let me see if I have one more. Nope. Okay. So this one, I think Teresa, I left in the drawer. It's not here. Hurry up, grab from the drawer. <laughs> well, while you're doing so, that, I'll say that I love the use of fabric that you've chosen in all of these. You're able to mix the prints and the solids in such a beautiful way that different colors read as solid. And it just is so dynamic to look at and bright and beautiful. How do you go about choosing your fabrics? Well, um, I, I usually, <laughs> believe it or not, I just look at the salvage edge and they have all those little dots along the salvage edge and they'll tell you all in the different values that you need. And I have, I have a little um, system. First, I start with a large scale print, it has to have all the colors in it. Then I pick a couple small scale prints that go along with it. I always have to have a check in it or a plaid in it and then a stripe. And that's actually kind of my system that I do. But now I just wanted to show you I have a little die with a square. 
and you just put your squares right sides together you stack them up right sides together and when you run this through the cutter here is the die the, all you have to do is pick them up and I did this um, the other day this whole stack took me half an hour I start with a little jumper scrap and as I just pick them up off the cutter I just assembly line sew them and in a half an hour, this is what you can have done. That's amazing. Then, I can't believe you did that in half an hour. Yeah, it's actually, it's a really good diet, Liz, because this will keep you from um, wanting to eat a candy bar or something. <laughs> Put them on the uh, pressing mat and I just flip press the whole way down the strip and then I cut them all apart. And then you can put any of those half square triangles. Whoops, the dog has my other hand. Oh my Whoops. goodness. <laughs> That's okay. He's my buddy. I give him food. Okay. So that was squares with strips and that was half square triangles. Ooh, now we've got a whole bunch more. Now this one is, oh my gosh, I Milky can't. Way. Milky Way. Oh, Milky I Way. And it's the combination of the half square and the four patch. And just all bright colors all around. It has a little folded border. And what's really fun is to take all of the leftovers and just strip those and piece them together for your binding. Cute. I love the quilting. Oh, yeah. oh look at this. I this love the pieced stuff. binding on that. It really just <laughs> brings out the colors. That's a great choice. I don't waste a thing. It's so funny. Okay, so this one has a little check binding on it. Very, very cute. This one I call the magic pinwheel. Whoops. The magic pinwheel. And it's actually half square triangles and quarter square triangles. And what's magical about it is that you sew the lattice right into the block as you go along. This is one of our new ones, the magic pinwheel. Really like it. Oh, so, it's, so it's constructed with that sashing in there. You're not having to add yes. it after the fact. Yes, it's actually, it's the middle. It's, if you could see this right here, this is one block. So it's the lattice goes right down through the middle of it. So then it's basically four blocks that oh, make I see. this block. You see it? Yeah, I All see right. it, and that makes it so easy to do. Things are showing us It that. is, it is. It's really fun, really fun. That's, that's my thing. It has to be fun. It has mm -hmm. to be easy and fast, but it has to look good. Okay, so now we <laughs> have right. a couple of more dies. I think I will just take and show you the dies while Teresa shows you the quilt. Now, people say, I hate flying geese. I don't know, I really like flying geese. So this is the AccuQuilt die for the flying geese. These are the triangle pieces that go right along here, like this, and it's a, it's a square. Now see the ends, the little ends are cut off. So one, two pieces, you don't have to square anything up. That's the best part. And then this one is the little applique flower that you can cut and they are layered um, on, the, on the vine. I actually did this on Craftsy a couple of years ago and I think they still air this program. And then the scallop edge along the outside, beautiful quilting in it. Are you a flying geese fan? I am a, a fan of looking at flying geese. I don't know that I'm a fan of making <laughs> this the one, If you geese. try this, you'll really enjoy it. I it's think a I would. And that's such a sweet and beautiful quilt with the mixture of I the flying know. geese and the flowers. And how easy Thank is that you. with the AccuQuilt dies too? It is easy. Okay, now this is a die called Block on Board. Block on Board. And it's definitely a nice long board. It's going to go through your AccuQuilt cutter just like um, the strip did. Can you guess what this makes? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a trick. This is a trick question. Okay, open it up, right Teresa. Woo! It makes the bear's paw. 
Oh, it was a trick. I'm so surprised. See, this what is what expecting. it looks like. This is what you actually have. But all of these pieces, when you cut them, it makes this bear's paw. And this is one of my favorite bear's paws. I really like doing the positive and the negative. This is all little triangles. I think they're two and a half inch, half square triangles. I'm nuts about two and a half inch. And then using everything that I have left over in the border. Very special. I, I like love them. that quilt too. It's very striking with all those points and all the colors. And you know, without that, you wouldn't want to be cutting all those points by hand. At least I know I, I wouldn't. <laughs> And plus squaring them up afterwards, forget that. Okay, let us see. Oh, oh, yes. And Teresa did this one. It is the same block. It's the bear's paw, but it has the little ocean animals that are applique around in um, the solid blocks. Very, very pretty color. Really yeah, like very it. Very pretty. And I like how she chose those batiks too that mimic kind of what you would see in the ocean. That's really remarkable. It does look like an ocean. Mm -hmm. Really, really good one. Let's see, we've got butterflies on the back. What is coming up? Block on board. Not, oh, block on. Oh, look at this one. This is Storm at Sea. Storm at Sea. See, I'm starting to remember the names. You would think that I would remember every single name, but with there are a lot of names to remember. <laughs> and no, remember Barbara Brackman has like 4,000 quilt patterns, and, wow. and I can't remember. But I did take um, a layer cake. And that's how I got the variety and all of the different um, squares that they're all coordinated and work together. I think each block took two 10 inch squares to do. Lots of fun. So you can actually go on Quilt in the Day's website and find these patterns, find these dies that go with all of them. It's really fun. So get her, take a look today and see what you get. That's this right. And, really and I have to tell people out there who are watching, a lot of times we buy those layer cakes or we buy other pre-cut packs and then we don't know what to do with them. It. But they're exactly. such a good, a good tool to use because they've already done the work of designing those packs for you. So whatever right. you get is going That's to coordinate. Like that quilt was beautiful. That is the best part that it's all coordinated. And when you cut them, you just place them right sides together, your light and your dark. I always put the dark on the top because I usually press toward the dark. And so it's simple. It's just so fast. Ooh. Okay, now some people say, okay, Al, don't don't you ever do anything modern. This is as modern as I get. This is based <laughs> on the traditional Dresden plate. And then I just place them uh, on top of the um, piece of background fabric. There are two different dies from AccuQuilt. One is a scallop outside edge and the other is a pointed outside edge. Actually, it's on the same guy. Mm -hmm. I actually like the pointed one because you um, can just, the edge, bra edge is turned under and you can just stitch it down. There's a little bit more work doing the curved edge, but really looks fun with all of the quilting in it. Yep. And a half of one. <laughs> to put and a half of one. I like the half of one there because it's a little a bit unexpected. A half of one. Are you surprised I did something modern? I, I think it looks beautiful. And you know, I, I enjoy both traditional and modern quilts. And that's a good testament to people out there who think, oh, well, I need to try this, but I don't really like it. Just make what you love. Just make what brings and you no. joy. Eleanor does it too. I'm I do. And this one I love. This is another old time favorite. This is churn dash. It's also known as monkey wrench, but um, AccuQuilt has a couple of different sizes in it, but you can actually use just dies that have the, um, the rectangle and the half square triangle and put it together. Very classic. Well, and you know what? That one's a little bit modern too, Eleanor, because it's got those <laughs> pops of colors. It's got the white in the background. So you're, you know, you're definitely not just doing one thing like you say you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I tell you in the beginning we have over 50 here and we left some. See, this is smaller now. Oh, Same pattern. Nice. 
but positive and negative and a whole different look. I like the little polka dots, all of the um, different pieces. This could be like a layer cake too because they all go together. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And you see some of the same patterns both in the positive and the negative in different places on that quilt. Exactly, exactly. So let's see what is coming up. Look at the quilting on the back. Man, that is fancy. This is like Christmas because oh. every time you pick up one, I'm like, what are we going to look at next? <laughs> are you writing this down, Liz? <laughs> you're you're going to say, oh, what was that one? Do you know the name of this one? Look, you are, you're challenging me here. I don't. That one is lesser known to me. Hunter Star. That's a Very Hunter popular. Star. But you know, I, Hunter I, star. I don't typically see the Hunter Star in such small pieces. I typically see it like big as a medallion. So I like how you've uh -huh. used it in that way. Yeah. And you think that, oh my gosh, this, the, the diamonds in here, but it's this piece. You add a little diamond to the, uh, the blue on the ends. This is what the whole block is. And then it's like two of them put together, mm -hmm. positive and negative. That's and right. Beautiful. And I want to comment, if I can, really quickly um, on part of what threw me off on that one is the quilting inside the diamonds is, it softens them. And it almost from a distance uh -huh. makes them look more rounded like petals. And I think that's a really neat use of that block. So yeah. it goes to show the way you quilt it after the fact can really change the oh, overall perception yeah. of the quilt. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm a topper. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. I'm a topper. Plenty of us and this, built by check. Yes. This, I love this one I had just done recently. It's just a little six inch crazy quilt block. Um, I did, I know that I cut up a layer cake on this one and it's really fun to do all these little pieces that fit together and it's like a, a puzzle. And you just stack up all the pieces and assembly line, sew them together. And then the, the little narrow border and a wider border. And the strip cutter is the best for doing borders. I think, how many sizes do I have now? Oh my gosh, I'm Everyone. embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you what I really have. <laughs> okay, we're getting right down here. This one is called Kylie's Kite. This is named after Orion's um, oldest daughter. And you can see that it looks like a kite. This is the little block here. And it is a kite. So this is one of the dies that AccuQuilt has. And now I want to show you. It's a kite. Yeah. It's a number 15. Number 15. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put that aside and Eric, I want you to show everybody the first book I wrote. I've written many books, but I've only done two AccuQuilt books. And the first one that I want you to look at is called Go Cube. And it's called Mix and Match Blocks. It comes in five different sizes now. Um, it's like uh, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. And that means if you buy that box, every block that you make is that size, finished size of that block. And I wanted to show you the first sampler that I did. It's just really fun. I love all the little colors. I took the six inch box or the cube these are the little six inch blocks in here. And you can start picking out all the shapes and see the half square triangle and the squares and the quarter square triangles. And then I frame them with other half square triangles, very soft and very feminine. And so this is in my first book and it's called Go Cube. Go I love cube. that one because it uses so many different elements and yet it's such a right. soft and gentle quilt. It looks like it could wrap around a baby or something. Right. They have, um, they have eight different um, shapes in it. And now this one is my second book. Oh, I love those and colors. This is called Outside the Box. Outside the box, and you start out with a six inch cube, but then it's actually a different size when it's all done. Very, very pretty. 
I think Sue Bouchard did this one. Look, there's our bear's paw yep. right there. Bear's paw, double T here, so Ohio star. And see how the little half square triangles are used in the border. Okay, we're gonna keep on getting bigger. So this is the six inch box. And now the blocks are growing. This is the eight inch block. And this is the cube, eight inch cube. I think these are my favorite colors. You, you'll see, I use a lot of red, white, and blue, but um, they're the same blocks. They're just larger. Okay. And solid colors, mostly here. Look at this one. Woo! Have we razzle dazzled you enough yet? You have. I'm almost speechless. These I love You're these so bright, funny. solid colors. They're just striking. Yeah. And even though yeah. I'm far away from you and I'm in Paducah, Kentucky, it looks like you're just sitting right here with me. They're coming in so strongly. And so beautifully. you can see here's the shape, the kite, and here is the triangle in a square. Here's the flying geese, honk honk. And this is the nine inch, the nine inch. Get ready for the 12 inch. Okay. It's I don't know just if I can take it, Eleanor. <laughs> Pardon me? I said, I don't know if I can take it. They're so beautiful and they're getting so <laughs> they're big. They're starting. Okay, this is the 12 inch block, but it's so big that you can almost just make a few of them and it'll cover your whole quilt. Let me get hold of this corner. It, it has a signature block as the border. It's very, very cute around the outside edge. So when it's outside the block, outside the box, you start with a 12 inch cube, but the blocks are really larger in the end, 18. And that's why it's called outside the box. Outside that's right. the box. I, could, I feel like I could make just one of those blocks and, and put a border on it and then a binding and just <laughs> exactly. it on my wall. So each of the books have multiples of one block and it looks great. All you have to do is just keep repeating one block once you get really good. And this one, Teresa did for the fall. Doesn't look like fall, does it? But um, this one is a companion to the um, other eight. This is like, this is the um, kite, but these are the, um, the chisel. Thank you. I have lots of people in the audience to help me remember chisel. And so she did a unique thing with her lattice. She did shading that you can see from one color clear across the quilt. Very, very beautiful. Yes, I wanted to ask about that because how did you select uh -huh. the fabrics for that? Or did you have to match different shades or are they hand dyed? Um, what was your technique you know, there? They, they do look hand dyed. I think that she, we use a design wall. And I remember that day, Teresa really labored over which single color she should use. And when she couldn't quite decide on a single one, she said, I'll just use all of them. <laughs> and then she just decided, you know, just shading it gently. It works really good. Actually, I think this is the way it's going from the lightest into the medium into the dark. Yeah, it and really that flows way, together and yeah. creates a beautiful yeah. effect. Yeah, and then she used everything. This one is one of our favorites. So we're getting down there. Let us see. So this one is the signature block again. And this is just a really fun, charming um, background and um, all of the different colors, the turquoise, the yellows, all small prints, reproduction, 1930s possibly, little print around the outside, very, very cute. And as I said, hold on to it. See how you cut little corners on the signature block? See these little pieces? Well, if you take and you cut a square and you have all these little triangles left over, you cannot throw them away. And so this is what I did. See, I took all those little pieces and made a bow tie. Oh, how perfect. Yeah, you're not wasting any fabric that way. No, no. No, it's just so fun. 
you just you just got to use up everything. That's the beauty of the AccuQuilt. You can just cut them all to be the same size. And this one, ah, roundabout. Wait for the bright colors, Liz. It's coming. I can tell. I know I'm already going to love this one. <laughs> So this one is really fun. This uses all the companion pieces, the squares, the half square triangles. This is um, the triangle and the square. And it looks like um, there's round pieces in here. All the circles have been quilted into it. It's just beautiful. Patty and I, my sister and I worked on this one. Well, really that's another like one where you can tell you use the design wall to arrange those colors because the exactly. eye just flows and the colors move so beautifully. Exactly. And, and like you said, the quilting really enhances it. I think, and I don't know how I'm picking one, but I think this one might be my favorite so far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, but wait, we have more. <laughs> we have more. Okay. Oh, and this one, this is Zoe's. So it's really fun from Zoe's fabric. That's, um, Oh, Ryan's um, youngest little girl, but it's beautiful with the uh, rows of four patch going through and it's just a little triangle in a square, two different colors in the triangle in a square, a little folded border around the outside edge and easy to do. Yeah, and a great use of that patterned background fabric. Right, really, really beautiful. So people always say, how am I inspired? What am I, what do I use for my inspiration? And actually I go to my antique quilts mm -hmm. and I just say, oh man, I love that pattern. I want to do something, something modern, something fresh looking with it. So this is the antique quilt that I picked and I just saw just strips, but it's so interesting the way the strips have been put together um, with little white in between. And I love this little narrow. So do you want to see the modern one? I do. And the, that's just a beautiful oh, quilt. <laughs> thank you. The all new chimney sweep. Oh, wow. Those colors are so different and it changes it so much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. like it, it, you've really adapted that into something brand new and fitting for today. You know, this came from a scrap bag. It's, it's called a Moda scrap bag. And um, when you get a scrap bag, you know, your scraps are not always the same size. And so with the AccuQuill cutter, I just line up the scraps on my cutter and run them through to make them all the same size. And it's just very, very easy to do. And I had a lot of fun putting this one together. In fact, I still have other pieces left over sitting waiting to be put together. But this is actually a traditional pattern too called chimney sweep. Really fun. See, this is the chimney right in the middle. And I love how those traditional patterns are kind of getting a new life nowadays with yes. the, the modern colors and the modern quilting, how you can really take something that might have always been right. one way and turn it into something new. And I choose most often uh, like a white, a pure white, just to bring out all of the other colors in the quilt. Okay, so we are done with our spring selection, all of our lighter colors. And so now we're gonna just show you one more red, white, and blue, mm, or shall we wait? <laughs> Well, you know what? Now let's, would be... have, let's have a break. Okay. Well, I was going to say, now would be a great time to take a quick break. Um, and while we do that, we've seen so many wonderful tips about AccuQuilt and the different cutting systems that we can use. Um, be sure that you go online to quiltweek.com slash trunk show and enter to win the fabulous AccuQuilt prize package. You're going to win the Go Big Just Add Fabric 12-inch starter pack. And that's for one lucky winner. Now stay tuned for a message from AccuQuilt.
thank you to AccuQuilt for that. And don't forget that you need to go online and enter to win that wonderful prize package. But first, I am so excited. We have some special guests. Eleanor, tell us who our wonderful yes. guests are. I, I mentioned two different quilts, both named after these two girls. This is Kylie right here. Woo! Kylie, the, the little kitty cat. She always has <laughs> ears on her. I love it. And that. this is Zoe right here. Face right there. See? There. <laughs> yes, what a smile. They both have beautiful fabric lines that are designed after them. It's written on the salvage edge. And someday you'll get your quilt that I made out of that fabric. <laughs> oh, it's so nice uh, to meet you, Kylie and Zoe, and to know the quilts that are inspired by you. It's great exactly. to see you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, girls. Bye, and I have to tell you, the dog is playing with my boa now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm in the summer, my favorite time of the year. I'm wearing my birthday cowboy hat, all red, white, and blue. And so we have a selection here. And I'm going to start right here with the bed, the red, white, and blue. And this particular one is great using the value die. It's got a square, half square triangles, and then a larger square. And this is the quilt. It's called uh stars and four patch stars and four patch and this is just perfect it's not hard to do it, the center is actually it's it's just half square triangles here half square triangles around the outside and then the big old four patch look at that it's wild but this is fun too look at the quilting that goes through that stars and four patch and I love red, white, and blue. <laughs> this one is called Pinwheel. Very large pieces of Pinwheel. And to top it off, we use my eagle die. Whoops, hold on to it. Okay, there we go. The eagle die with stars around. This is my own die. I just really love it. And we made this as a team at one of my retreats. Every person that was at the retreat got the opportunity to make her own block and then we just put it all together into this one. It's um, actually in one of the books too. I love so a quilt that's made by a group effort. You know, they're always extra yes. special to know that everybody's contributed. And what a unique and, and adorable um, eagle die. I love that eagle at the top and the stars. It's patriotic yeah. and it brings so an fun. extra bit of pizzazz to the quilt. Liz, this is something to think about too. When you work with a group and each person is supposed to make their own block, oftentimes the pieces, the original pieces are not cut exactly the same. And so the biggest challenge in the end is putting blocks together that could possibly be a little, you know, quarter of an inch, half inch off, different sizes, and you have to make them fit. But when you cut, have everybody cut from the same die, from the AccuQuilt die, chances are better that your blocks will fit together in the end. That is a great learned, point. And every guild out there needs to have one of those so that exactly. when you make those group quilts, they'll be perfectly matched. That is, that is exactly it. That is exactly. And right now I'm working with a group where we're making Christmas projects for sale. And I actually cut everything for them. They're so excited <laughs> when I hand them a little kit and then they enjoy it. Oh, I know they do. This pattern is from the 1800s. It's called the Split Nine Patch. This is a great scrap quilt because every, this is like hundreds of different, different pieces, different colors, backgrounds. It's only made of squares and half square triangles. And it's just the way that you lay them out. There's actually multiple ways you can lay this one block out. I oh, love that, it. That's another one of my favorites now. I don't know. I'll <laughs> never be able to choose, but I love how you've used the different patterns and the way that you've brought those lighter colors to the back to create a pieced right. background like right. 
So write it down. Split I'm going to have to write it down. Nine patch. <laughs> We're going to get you yet. Okay, this one, this die is also absolutely beautiful, but um, I do believe may not be available any longer. It's called the hair. It is the Harrison Rose. It's applique. It's after um, one of the president's wives, Harrison Rose, and it's beautiful and very antique looking, don't you think? With the gold and the green yes. in it and the, the, the old colors fashioned. are very old fashioned, but in a good way. They're they're not something that you think of as old fashioned. It's beautiful and stunning with those colors, and it really brings out the applique pieces. Thank you, thank you. We like everything. And so now I'm gonna take you to the design wall. Just everything we can think of in the <laughs> red, white, and blue. I'm gonna start right down here. I, I really like two color quilts, just red and white. This is called Snowball, very traditional looking. I do have an antique quilt that I use, but it's Snowball. There's those little chopped off corners. And moving up, traditional pineapple and great in two colors, just the blue. This one, oh my gosh, this is called Strippy Star. This one was so much fun because you cut the um, strips first and then you cut them, you recut them on the 45 degree angle and then you create that diamond. These were just um, strips. Um, cut on the same, the diagonal, the diamond was cut on the same um, strip die. Strippy that star. That one is so unique. I love that because it's, it looks like that star I is shadowing know. itself. I know. And if you, if you notice, um, I did not have the same fabric for the border around the outside edge. So I just mixed it up. You just do what you have, right? That's right. And it's going to make it more use unique. It, up. it doesn't have to be your definition of perfect. I think that that made it no. a lot more dynamic because it did look like a, like two-sided that way. Yes. Well, Liz, if it's not perfect, you just hang it high and you keep it moving. <laughs> and nobody absolutely knows right. it's not perfect. So up here, this is another one of my favorites. This is actually um, block. Uh, promoted by Quilts of Valor. It's actually called Split Ohio Star. And it's very fun to do. You see the blue on half of the star and then the other half. Quilting is tremendous, but Split Ohio Star. So moving over here, let's oh, just Can go I pause along. you for just one second, Eleanor? You mentioned Quilts of Valor, and yes. um, because you had talked about your love of red, white, and blue, I was also thinking about yes. them. Um, that's a wonderful organization for those of you who don't know. They take right. quilts from uh, quilt makers all over the country. Um, just thousands and thousands of quilt makers are involved in this, and they give these quilts, they award them to service members and people who are affected by war. And so it's just wonderful if you haven't been to one of those ceremonies to watch them physically wrap that person in a quilt and to let them take that home. And so I know that Quilts of Valor is always looking for quilt makers to help them make those right. quilts. And so right. if you're out there, if you're a piecer, I know they especially always need quilters. Um, take a look at that. Just go Google Quilts of Valor and see how you can participate. And actually, that's another group that a cutter is perfect for mm -hmm. because you can cut, you know, cut a lot of quilts in a short time. I know that the viewing audience is going to see this in December, but today is Veterans Day. That's absolutely right. Yeah. We're filming on Veterans Day, and so we just have to Perfect. say a thank you to all of our servicemen and women out there and their families who've sacrificed so much for our country. Right. Perfect. Perfect day for red, white, and blue. And this one, I'm going to slip over this way. You think this one, oh my gosh, the hexagons, how am I ever going to do that? I want you to go close right on this one, Eric, if you can. It says USA home of the free. And then another one says up above, home of the brave. And you think like, oh my gosh, there's no way I could never ever do this. But, and then there's stars inserted, but it's like you create a patch like this. You just put 
two triangles on the end of, end of your hexagon. This is the patch and you just keep on putting them straight lines and you don't even have to pin these. It's like, no way. You don't have to pin. If you cut them accurately and sold them accurately, they just line up. Well, Whoa. I love how you're showing us the actual units because it makes everything look a little bit more parsable and a little bit more I, doable. I know, I know. And then it's just the, the um, little binding around the outside edge. It gives it a very special touch. I really like it. So this one is called the Guiding Star. And a unique, it's, this is the, um, the Kylie's Kite. So you met Kylie, now you know Kylie's Kite. And this one is the triangle in a square. This is um, this, the center square just with uh, triangles added around the outside edge. And this is the special binding a lot of people have been doing. They call it the magic binding or the flange binding that you completely do this binding by machine, no handwork on that. And it's got this little flange of red with the little plaid around the outside. Yeah, so, I, like the, I like the little flange there. It brings an extra pop of color and it really makes it, it dynamic. I feel like I could reach and, out and touch it. <laughs> and, and that's exactly it, Liz. It's just to give that color, a little extra color right out there. So I enjoy all of these quilts but now I have to change my hat <laughs> and we're moving into fall. How about Teresa, you wanna come and get this one? Now fall this is, is my favorite, favorite season. Ones. Oh yes. So this is um, one that I did with the autumn colors. I just really enjoy that. And um, easy to do, believe it or not. And I'm gonna show you you know what, if you hold this, I'll hold it, hold it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this fall one. I'm going to destroy your um, display. Okay. Teresa, I'm pulling out pins and I'm getting dressed for the occasion. <laughs> because, woo! You can gobble, take gobble, Eleanor. <laughs> you can take the leaf and turn it into a turkey. Oh, how cute. I absolutely love him. And what a good versatile use of that block. Exactly, exactly. So changing the colors, adding a few extra pieces, and it's just dynamite. But anyhow, this is one of our favorite patterns. OK, thank you. So now that I have my turkey hat on, I might as well just keep on showing you, huh? <laughs> how about Drunkard's Path? Pretty fall, pretty modern looking. What do you think? That one is modern looking and I love the two tones that you have, but there's so many different grays mixed in. It's very striking. So this could be like a layer cake too because of all of the different fabrics all go together, but they're all different. Very fun. Large size, but wait till you see this one. We're getting down towards the bottom of the bed. What do you think? Oh, okay. So I'll, 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 I'll show that. Okay. So snowball. So Drunkard's Path is circles and the snowball looks like a circle too, except it's really just, it's like um, a hexagon with uh, the corners added. The lattice put on half of them. So you cut, cut it from like a 10 inch square, but so you go, oh my gosh, I'm wasting pieces. Ah, nope, don't waste anything. Just take the other part and put it in half around the outside edge. Oh, Very modern right. look. Yeah, and I love the colors in this one too, but I love that you can use <laughs> those pieces to make it continue. And so your eye kind of goes to the edge of that <laughs> exactly. quilt and it doesn't feel stagnant. It exactly. feels like it's moving. Exactly, it just works really good. And look at the back, you could use this as the reverse side too. Too much fun. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to show you the very first quilt I ever made out of my AccuQuilt cutter. Oh, what it's a treat. right here. This is my first one. I mean, I didn't have any idea what I was going to end up doing, but it's the just the pumpkin, simple, simple pumpkins that I cut out. 
with the half square triangles. And boy, did it start me in trouble, huh? <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> so down here is a smaller drunkard's path. Different sizes of drunkard's paths. You can lay out drunkard's path in so many different um, layouts. The same large one. And some people think that the curves are hard. You know, I don't think they're hard at all. All I do is I take flip this and angle it right here and just turn this into like a straight line. It's like you put your foot on the sewing machine and you stretch it out, make that straight and just sew that curve. It's very, very easy to do. That's right. So don't be intimidated by curves if you're out there working no, on your machine. Don't. Don't. Just anchor them together, stretch them together, stretch a straight line, and just sew. And let them pop back so, into shape. <laughs> so look what we're back to, Liz. There's that bear's or paw. Or bear's paws. But I really enjoyed this one because um, my home in the mountains is called the Bear's Paw Ranch. My home is a log cabin. So I thought these two really work and they're perfect to go with each other. The log cabin is one of the dies that you cut all the pieces to size and you can just whip them right up. The bear's paw is fun. So now we're into our animal world right here. We've got more eagles. This is the uh, center a medallion, which is not an AccuQuilt, but the eagle is my die. Set them around the outside. And this is one of my favorites. This is called Northwoods. We've got the bears for the bear's paw. We've got moose in the corners and the trees in the center. And what's unique about this one is that AccuQuilt provides the applique stitches, you, you just download it onto your embroidery machine, you cut out the bear, and the next thing you know, you can just stitch around automatically with your machine around the outside edges. Oh, wow. I really like that kind of, yeah, it's like, you should say, wow. It's <laughs> you like, have to be oh able to do gosh. that. And I just go, oh, there's no way I would want to freehand that, but it's all provided with the AccuQuilt die and the little trees are just so much fun really Absolutely. and I love the hunter plaid that goes with it that's one of my favorites one of my latest well my horror. husband would oh. love that quilt too he loves everything woodsy and bears and and the plaid so that was my first thought when I looked at that one so we're up to Christmas up to the holidays oh my gosh of course I have to be a Santa here and these projects are so much fun it's got, this is the Dresden plate again, and this little wreath is an AccuQuilt die that you can just cut that out. The center is just a fussy cut from a piece of fabric, but this is the pointed Dresden plate into a wreath. And did you know that AccuQuilt has a stocking die? And first when I saw the stocking, I go, oh my gosh, that's so simple. You know, you could cut that out. But when you have to make 50 stockings for an organization, <laughs> you right. like the AccuQuilt die. And so these, like you could do in a half an hour and sell them at a bazaar or here at Quilt in a Day, we have a, a charity group that stuffs these uh, full of essential items and gives them to women's homes and such. It's an excellent easy gift to make the stockings. Now I like this one. This is the little um, triangle in a square and these pieces in the tree are just the outside edges of the triangle in a square with some little gifts under them. Too much fun. Now, if you like circles, the snowman is just great. He's got such a, a bow. There's the bow again. So it's big circles that you put on. And then there's a second die that has like the little carrot nose and the little stick arms and such and a little pinwheel around the bottom. And then I took the circles 
and turn them into Christmas balls. Oh. I think this is, uh, isn't it cute? It's so cute. I'm just stunned here how everything just <laughs> one thing to the, to the next works so nicely. And I'm just well, so excited for Christmas now. I know. Well, we are having a bazaar the, um, the weekend of Thanksgiving. You are welcome to fly out here, Liz. <laughs> I would you love that. You could buy one of these. <laughs> so it's just rickrack and just anything that we added. I think this is a Kimber Bell pattern, but we did it all AccuQuilt with the big old circles and such. So we've got like decorations to hang, but of course you have to have gifts, right? So I want to show you some of the dyes with gifts because this is just so cute. Oh, this yes. is a little, this is a bib. You can do a, get, get a cut a bib. Once again, I go, you can do that easily, but no, not when you have a like a big leg. And this is just like a little burp pad for the baby, the bib and the burp pad, cute. But this burp pad, you can just go ahead. Ooh, how about this is for the couch. You could give one to the men and put um, their remote control in it like this. Same die, little bit of fun. Or what if you turn it into a hot pad? Another oh, yeah. gift. That's so versatile. You can make just about anything with it. Yeah, it's just all one die. I can't believe that. that. Yeah, I, I know. It's just really, really fun. And this one is one of their latest one. This is really cute. This is a microwave bowl. Very easy. You can cut a hundred of them. Give one to everybody. But um, you just put your bowl of soup in the middle. This is cotton. You put it in your microwave. Heat the soup up, take it out of the microwave in the cloth bowl, put it on the table. It's got a great gift. It absolutely Scraps. is. I just recently made two of those, one for my husband and one for myself. And let me tell you, it would have been easier with the AccuQuilt. <laughs> That's all I have it to say about totally, that. Totally. It is totally easy. See, I, I know that once you start with the AccuQuilt cutter, you cannot rotary cut any longer. You just do it with the AccuQuilt cutter. Now, these are little gifts. How about make a quilt for somebody you love? This is just a cute little cottage and little trees on it, but frivolous and lots of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I have uncovered my uh, new tablecloth. We did this last year with the reindeer and the little Christmas trees. You can even cut the little balls for the tree with your AccuQuilt cutter. And I so love your background choice there. It reminds me of snow and it lets everything else pop out. Exactly, exactly. I think that that's probably the hardest part, just picking the fabric and then cutting it and sewing it to breeze. So much fun. <laughs> well, well, I did all, fi all 50. I oh my did. God. Oh, there's another I, one. I, oh, wait, one more. This is the blazing star. This is, this is my die, the blazing star. And um, beautiful with the Christmas. There's a little bit of sparkle in all of the fabrics. And looks hard, but you know how I say, nope. It's easy. You can do it. So thank you, Teresa. Oh my goodness, oh, Eleanor. You, <laughs> you did it. I am just, can I tell you something? <laughs> I'm exhausted at just watching you. I am too. <laughs> You've done, you have done so much. You've run around and shown us all these wonderful quilts. And I feel so oh, inspired to make something new. And I hope that the folks at home do as well. And I'm just so glad that you and I have gotten a chance to connect this year. You sent me Thanks. some strawberry jam, which is amazing. And I still I have know. some peach jam that I could mail to you if you think that you would eat it. Because <laughs> I think jam friends is a great way to get started. Oh, I would love it. I would love it. Oh. Thank you. Well, I want to thank you again, and I want to thank our sponsor, AccuQuilt. And we've seen exactly what we can do with those cutters. AccuQuilt has been a good partner with AQS for a really long time. And um, I want to remind everybody to go online to quiltweek.com slash trunk show. And there will also be a link here in the description of the video. And make sure you enter to win that AccuQuilt prize package. Now, don't forget, as you're watching this, click like 
and share to share with your friends because all of your quilty friends are going to want to watch this video with Eleanor. We've had a <laughs> wonderful time today. And Thank you. It's been so fun to see you and talk to you, even though it's <laughs> over the internet. I feel like you're right here in Paducah. Oh, thank you. It's been great fun. And until I can see you in person next time, I'll say goodbye for now and Merry, Merry Christmas because it's coming up. Same to you. <laughs> Thank you, AccuQuilt. Thanks, everyone. Until next time, this has been AQS Quilt Stars Trunk Shows.